Hi everyone, welcome back. Hi Lee. It's... How are you? I am fantastic, how are you? I'm doing okay. Do a lot of things going on, but good things, so I'm excited. I mean, I got Del Taco, Taco Tuesday tonight, so really there's, there's only winning here. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I need to come out and try some Del Taco with you. Dollar twenty nine for three tacos. I'm going to come out and visit and just get like 30 tacos. There's no way that we're going to eat 30 tacos, but it will be like $10. So there was a man there who had 12 tacos in front of him. Good. Good for him. He's living his life. He's doing it right. Probably yeah. cost him five. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to come out Monday night, be there Tuesday, then leave Wednesday. I am sold. Okay. Go team go. <laughs> so... <laughs> How has your crafting been going lately? You know, I didn't even show you this in the pre-show because yeah. I got jealous of all of your amazing blanket crafting. Ooh. I'm doing a log cabin blanket. I love it. Now and I'm in two of between seven and 13. Ooh. Very nice. Now, is so I got sweater kit that I sort of fell in love with but decided that I didn't know what to do with six different colors and now That's I'm right. using them list in a log cabin blanket you know what that works for me I, 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 <laughs> I would hope so but I do that a lot with yarn I just buy yarn then decide what to do with it later I just wanted to be snuggly and I thought I want to see these colors, but I don't know how to make them into a sweater or if there is enough yardage for a sweater. Yeah. So let's make a blanket. And then I have a bunch of like extra oddball skeins I can just add onto it. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Tell me about your crafting. Um, it's been going really well. I'm actually, um, so my sister officially adopted. <gasps> so she, she's getting four kids. Um, wow. So, yes, that that is I, um, which is exciting. Her and her husband just like adopted. they they haven't quite moved in yet, um. So they're finishing out the school year. But as my president, I'm making everyone blankets. Wow. So um, I'm on blanket two right now, of, uh, the blankets. So um, I just dropped something. But that's okay. I decided to go cable crazy, and it's just a blanket of cables. So, oh, I saw Insta. It's beautiful. Thank you. I, I I like it. I was a little leery at first doing like it all cables, but I now that I'm like halfway th done with it, I'm really enjoying it. And um, even though I don't like, I might have to just do minimal blocking with it, but I wouldn't have to like take care of corners or anything because. When you do cables on ends, it just goes into the cable. It doesn't roll. I did. I didn't know that. I knew th know that until I started doing this. So, I, I'm kind of excited about that. So, but yeah, um, we're excited for that, and you know, I'm just chugging along on the blankets. So it's a nice kind of departure. You know, knitting for a purpose instead of just like knitting, which I tend to do a lot of. So, that is what's been going on with me. Um, so. Oh, the other one I already put in a box. Otherwise, I would grab, but forgot to grab it. Um, but yeah, well, I, to your sister and her husband. That's incredible news. Yeah, yeah, we're we're excited. I think we're all a little nervous. I mean, it's four kids. The youngest is like five. The oldest is like twelve. So what? Uh, yeah, yeah. But like, they're it's it's very exciting. Like they're getting all set up. They're actually going to visit them like this weekend. Um, so. It was great. Like, uh, they just, to go on a t side tangent, they just got, like, a minivan because, you know, four kids. I was like, yes. wow, your parents now. Like, they posted a picture. I'm like, wow, that's, I don't know what it is about minivans and families, but it's like, wow, you're, you're, you're parents now. They, they are definitely parent ready. Yeah. And you're an uncle. Yeah, I'm excited. I um I haven't met the kids yet, but it's gonna. I'm excited to meet them soon. 
So, um, we're, like, once they move in and everything, they'll figure out a time where I can come and, like, physically visit them. So, I'll introduce myself, and, um, I'll be an uncle. Fa fast and hard, I'll be an uncle of four. <laughs> just, like, there's no middle ground. It's just... No, there's no middle ground. Yeah. So, that's gonna be exciting. Um, what was I gonna ask? Oh, to go back to your crafting, um... Have you done any more spinning since the last time we talked, or? I haven't. It okay. will happen, but there will be more upcoming wedding-related crafting. Okay. I just have to figure out with my fiancé what our wedding colors are. We're leaning towards navy blue and blush pink. And once okay. we figure that out, I want to craft uh, definitely my bouquets and centerpieces, and then I want to make little flower crowns out of uh, this Rowan Kid Silk Haze that I have a million balls of. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do for your wedding. Like, it's not many of my friends are, like, crafty for wedding type of crafty. So. It just saves so much money. Like, flowers for a wedding, if, like, the cheapest that I've heard friends get are $1,000. And mm -hmm. I have yarn that's already sitting in my closet, and I consider that yarn to be free and my labor to be free. So that saves $1,000. I feel like that's a good part, a good idea. <laughs> like, it's save money while you can, so. Yeah, oh, I mean, all the little pieces of weddings just add up. It's kind of crazy. The second you say wedding, everything becomes twice as expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but yeah. That's yep, kind of so the... Many, many wedding-related crafts will be coming up so that I don't have to spend extra like five dollars here and a thousand dollars there to make something pretty <laughs> like you do five dollars here five dollars there a thousand dollars here you know like you do it's crazy every little incremental thing adds up like you look at a save the date and you're like oh i guess that overlay really does look nice and oh i do like that font and oh could we add a ribbon and then it's five dollars to save the date and you're like i can print this out myself mm -hmm. yeah there's ways to save so i'm looking forward to hearing all about these wedding crafts and what you're going to do for them. There will be many <laughs> get excited. Oh, I am. I, I am ready and waiting to hear about these wedding crafts. Trust me. <laughs> and there'll be glitter and it will spread all over everyone and be impossible to wash off for decades. And I'm okay with it. No, what you do is like, as guests come in, instead of like a wedding present that you give people, it's just, glitter and not like a tube of glitter per person you just they throw rice at you you throw glitter on them you know like that's that's what you do there we go and it will be the most hated wedding of all time you don't like my idea no we're thinking of our our present towards guests being cookies since most of them are from out of town there's like this amazing cookie shop so we'll just say here's your present please eat it that works I, I, th I feel like that is a much better idea than my glitter idea. I I don't know if it's a better idea so much as a more palatable idea. That too. That too. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep thinking, you know, so next time. Just keep you guys in the comment section can throw ideas down. I would love to know about your crafts. Please, yes, please let us know about your wedding crafts or crafts in general because we'll be very excited to hear about it with this upcoming event <laughs> anywho yeah and on that note i think i will see you next time bye guys bye